Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to make a spider web and a spider for our class. We will talk about radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is symmetry around a central point. For this, our web will be our radial symmetry. So to begin, we're going to fold our paper in half. Then we will open it back up and fold it in the other direction. This will give us our central radial point, which is where the lines meet. Now what I'd like you to do is fold it back in half and back together, keeping that central point right here. Now what we'll do is we'll put a fold that goes corner or central radial to the other corner. So I'm going to take that and I want to make the fold line go both to both corners. I'm not paying attention to where the paper lines up together. So you can see I've put a fold to both corners. Now what I'd like you to do is open that paper back up and you should have lines that all go into the center point. What we're gonna do now is take a black crayon or marker and we're going to draw over those. So I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'll draw over top of my lines, creating my spider web pieces. All right, now that we've got our pieces of our spider web, we've got to add our other curve lines. What I like to do is think of a sad face when I draw this part because these shapes are all sad. So I'm going to go to the middle and I'm going to put a sad face. And I'm going to turn my paper, put another sad face. And we're going to repeat this process all the way around our paper. got my first line of webbing. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, big sad face, connecting our lines. And you can see my spider web is starting to show up. I'm going to do another one. This time it's even bigger sad face. and you could add as many as you want. I might do just one more to fill up my spaces. Okay, we have all our spider webs done. You could add more if you'd like, wherever you want to fill the whole paper, or you could leave these long lines out. That's up to you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our spider on our web. So when I draw my spider, I'm going to use simple shapes. The first shape I'm going to use is a circle. And I kind of want to put mine up here in the corner. So I'm going to start with its head. And its head is a circle. And I'm going to leave two white spots for its eyes. And I'll color in the rest. I'm also going to use an oval for his body and I can color that in too. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white. Now all spiders have eight legs. So I'm going to place eight legs on him. One, two, three, four. And on the other side, I'm gonna put four too. One, two, three, and four. So now I have my spider, and spiders have little teeth like that. What you can do if you want, then, is color your spider web in Halloween colors. So maybe you wanna make a pattern. And I might, I don't think I'm going to make a pattern. I'm going to go every other one. So I'm going to skip
And since I've done orange here, I'm gonna make this white and then orange again. And that means I go up one here. Cause that was white, then orange, then white, then orange. So we have orange, then we have white, and we need orange again. We have white, we need orange. White and orange. Now you could use colored pencils, markers, crayons like I'm using, whatever you want to color this. So we have white, I'm gonna do orange. So our pattern is white, orange, white, orange, or orange, white, orange, white, depending on which piece of the web you're working on. So I have orange, I have white, I need orange. I have white, I need orange. White and then orange. Okay, look at that, that's interesting. You could even put some orange on your spider if you wanted. And there it is, a radial spider web with a spider.